Okay, let's pretend that these books are really heavy and I can't hold them. Whoa! Well, hello, people of the internet. My name is Kevin, and welcome back to another video. Okay, guys, so for today's video, I am bringing you the final book haul of 2017. It's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know the rest of the words. This is the final book haul for 2017 and I'm going to be showing you guys all the books that I bought since my last book haul which was all the way back in June after BookCon and I have not done a book haul since my BookCon book haul because I was on a book buying ban and I was actually very strict on my book buying ban. I was buying no books until recently. <laughs> Recent events occurred. Hence the fact that I currently have a book haul for you guys. Before I get into this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it makes me really happy when you do so and don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already so thanks in advance for doing so. Okay, so the first book that I have to talk to you guys about is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas and this is book seven in the Throne of Glass series which originally wasn't meant to be book seven it was just meant to be a novella but as you can see this is not a novella sized book. And if you read the Throne of Glass series and you've already read Empire of Storms, then this book basically follows Kale's perspective during the events that happen in Empire of Storms. I hope that makes sense. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what this is about. You've read it already, unlike me, but I will read it soon and I'm very excited to read it because I've heard really good reviews about it. So I'm very much looking forward to getting to it and it's just a really pretty book except it doesn't kind of match the other covers which kind of annoys me but I will let it slide. The next book that I have to talk to you guys about is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. As you know, earlier on this year I currently read Cinder and I really really enjoyed it. I absolutely loved the series and I don't know why I had taken me so long to finally pick it up and read and after I finished Cinder I immediately ordered Scarlet so I kind of broke my book buying ban a while ago but it was only for one book so I didn't really count it but I'm technically a cheater and I'm sorry but you know I just have to get it and I still haven't read it so really what was the point of me ordering it when I could have just waited because I didn't read it straight away when I got it so who's the hypocrite? Me. I know that this one follows a uh, Red Riding Hood retelling kind of thing because the first one was a Cinderella. This one is Little Red Riding Hood, which I'm very excited to read. And I just love these covers and I'm excited to jump back into this world because I love these characters so much. So the next book that I picked up was, of course, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Um, I have actually heard a lot of great things about this and he had a kind of a lot of competition because his last book that came out was The Fault in Our Stars and of course that was such a successful book so there was a lot of like criticism going to be about this book but I'm currently hearing a lot of great things about this book and lots of people are saying like it's the best book they've read all year so I am so excited to jump into this book. I honestly don't know much about it because I don't really think I need to because it's John Green and I do tend to like his writing. But I do know that this follows a character who has OCD. I actually haven't read a lot of books about OCD apart from History Is All You Left Me by Anna Silvera. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to jumping into this and reading another John Green book. And hopefully it gives me all the feels like his books usually do. The next book that I have to show you guys is How To Make A Wish by Ashley Herring Blake. I have heard also a lot of great things about this book, especially from Emma over Emma Books. She really, really loves this book and me and Emma tend to like the same books. So I'm probably going to like it too. And it's just well received in terms of its bisexual representation throughout this book and I'm just really looking forward to reading this book. The only thing I know is that this book follows a girl who meets another girl and I'm assuming a romance is gonna blossom and yeah that's all I know. I don't really need to know more. I'm just basically off like the fact that loads of other people liked it and especially like a lot of people who tend to like the same books as I do loves it and it's an LGBTQIA related book so of course I'm going to read it and I honestly love this cover so freaking much. The next book that I have to show you guys is Brand New Me by Charlotte Crosby. I don't know why I just did that. Anyways, this is an autobiography book by Charlotte Crosby who is from the reality show Geordie Shore and she's also on another bunch of different TV shows on MTV. I love her and adore her. I think she's absolutely hilarious. This is her, also her second book. I've already read her first book, which is probably, no, you can't see it, it's somewhere there. And I've also read that, I really enjoyed it. I've also read this, it was in my October wrap up, if you wanna go see what my thoughts were. The next book that I had to talk to you guys about is Adult Lessons by Gabby Hanna. You may know her as Gabby Hanna on YouTube, or you may have known her as The Gabby Show before she decided to rebrand her name. This is Gabby's first book and it is also a poetry collection which she wrote all the poems and she also did all of the different illustrations that are throughout the book. I don't know if you guys can see these pictures. No you can't. 
Um, I'm really there's some pictures. But yeah, she did all the illustrations, she wrote all the poems, and yeah, it was a really, really great book. Also, I read this recently, it's in my October wrap-up, if you want to go check it out and see what my thoughts were. But yes, if you like poetry and if you're a fan of Gabby Hanna, I would tell you to pick this up and give it a shout. Next book that we have got is History Is All You Left Me by Adam Severa, who is one of my favourite authors of all time. I absolutely love him so much. And this is his newest release. This book basically follows two boys that I think meet each other on the last day of the world. Like the world's ending and it's like the last day, if you know what I mean. That was a really bad explanation. I am terrible. I'm so sorry. I really don't know too much about it. I said it for like every single book I read, but honestly, I love going into books not knowing like the whole synopsis beforehand because it just makes your reading experience so much better. And I do it with every single one of Adam Severa's books. I try to know as little as possible and he always blows my mind, makes me cry, makes me feel things that I didn't even know I could feel. And yes, I just know that this is gonna happen in this book because a lot of people cry so Kevin's gonna cry it's gonna be a sad time roll on the tears and the final book that I have to show you guys is because you love to hate me by a load of authors so I'm not even gonna go listing them all out but most importantly it is in collaboration with 13 booktubers who are all my bays. <laughs> I love basically all the booktubers that are in here and yes we've just got basically a whole bunch of booktubers like Sasha from a book utopia who is my homegirl I love her so much and Fraser oh I love her uh, we've got Zoe we've got Reagan we've got Christine Kat so many people, Jesse. Uh, there's just so many people in here. But anyways, I am so excited to read this book. I am very late to the bandwagon, but as I said, I was on a book buying ban and I only actually managed to pick this up recently. But I had to break my book buying ban to support my fellow booktuber friends. I don't even know if they're, I'm their friends, but I hope I'm their friends. Like I'm just kind of making myself their friends, even though I'm not. Yeah, I just had to support all of my fellow booktubers and yeah I'm so excited to read this book it's gonna be so much fun and I also love to cover so guys there are all of the books that I bought since my last book haul and that is it for the final book haul of 2017 okay let's just not do that again anyway don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video so goodbye guys